Hello everyone, it's December Eve and I've just taken in an Ocado delivery. I am trying out, I've had these ages that were kindly bought for me from my Amazon wish list that I used to do. These uh, Rode microphone things, it's cordless doodah, you know. There's a thing connected to my camera and then I'm wearing a backpack, you know, over my fanny, you know, like a fanny pack. So um, I'm trying not to shout because the microphone is really close to my mouth and um, I'm just thinking it's all going to be ruined. So I've just taken it and, and they're early today. I've been, I've had a couple of Ocado deliveries where they've been late, you know, more than half an hour late. But today they are more or less on time. The delivery was booked between half nine and half ten. And um, it was just after half nine. In fact, I was filming another video and the doorbell went. So, um, yes, let's see what I've bought. I mean, there's not a lot. Oh, there's not a lot of food in here, I don't think. You can see how tidy things are still. Things are progressing though. I have, I've di I did me back in folks. Last Sunday, I did me back in carrying a vacuum cleaner. Really hurt my back. It's still sore, but I'm, you have to be careful lifting stuff. I'm bending the knees. Oh, Daisy, oh, Daisy's gone to smell the shopping. Oh, right, just, I haven't had any breakfast yet. Right, let me just turn things off. Can't leave all these lights blaring. I mean, these are full fat lights, not low energy ones. These, these are low energy. Focus. You can see there's still a mess, but it's getting there slowly but surely. I've got uh, three boxes here. I've had to have UPS collect them because Royal Mail are on strike today and tomorrow, so Parcel Force couldn't do it. And then I've got other ones here, therefore every. And there's more stuff to sort through. I'm about to make a video actually of this. For my, I'm going to do it on my other channel. I know I'll get people moaning, but I did a, a poll a while ago saying, do you want to see the odd occasional other product apart from a vacuum cleaner? I mean, I'd mainly do vacuums and carpet washers, the odd washer and dishwasher and laundry appliance. But I thought I would just do, you know, some other things. And it's just going to be very occasional. But I'm sure I'll get some people saying, I'm not going to watch your channel anymore. You haven't shown that game. But I won't say what I say to those people. Go and watch something else, folks. So anyway, I'm going to be making a video of that. Daisy, get offed. So I have tidied up this side of the, well... <laughs> the bit that will be visible to the camera, you know. Ooh, lovely tidiness. Oops. Reality. So let's see what I've bought. I better put, I better put this on the tripod. There's more than ninety pounds worth of stuff here. Now I went for just over ninety because there was a cashback offer with a company called Quidco, which I've been with for many years, where you get cashback off your regular items you normally buy. If you go through Quidco, you get a percentage off, and sometimes there's extra offers. And with a cardo, if you spent £90, there was £25 cash back. I hopefully, fingers crossed, that, that has worked because I would not have spent normally £90. But there's quite a lot of non-food items here. Right. I have a pizza. In fact, this is all chilled, so um, I'll pop this back in the bag and put it in the fridge. I have a um, red grape, pomegranate and black currant juice. This was on offer, a turmeric shot. I'm going to have one of those actually, a shot of that before I have my breakfast. Very good. Turmeric is good. Anti-inflammatory, natural anti-inflammatory. I would always try turmeric before going for anything else, any, any drugs from pharmaceuticals. Personally, I would always look for an alternative and take that. Um, so you can mix this with juice if you don't like the taste or just take it like a shot. But there's supposed to be seven shots, so I'll have to see how much I'm supposed to drink in one serving. There's 16.3 grams of fresh turmeric root per shot. Daily go-to or post-workout shot straight or add to water or smoothies. 
So I'm not sure. Oh, six, they want me to have 60 milliliters. That's one shot. I've also got some unwaxed organic lemons I'm going to be baking. That's hence the Kenwood. And the lemons are for a recipe. So that's uh, some chilled. What else have I got? Any more? Oh, there's more chilled. Let me just move the chilled out of the way, folks. Pop it over here. I'm thinking I'm having to shout, but I don't because I'm taking the mic with me. It's, it's, it's going to... I don't know if I'll be able to use this footage. Right, well, I've got another. Yes, it was a two for offer, so I bought two pizzas. And a uh, salad to have with a pizza. Might have that for lunch, not sure. Put that down there. Right, what else have we got? There's some very naughty things in here. Naughty things. Percy original veggie, Percy pig, and together forever, Colin and Connie, the caterpillars. They won't be together much longer because they're going to get their heads bitten off and they'll end up being digested in my stomach and working through my large and small intestine before finally passing through to the colon and finally the anus and down the toilet. So their love is short-lived. It's sad, isn't it? Why they put bleach in with food, that's annoying. This is a bleach cleaner. I don't normally buy the big brands, but I wanted a cleaner with bleach and also one that foams up when you spray it. This is for the shower area mainly, just to get rid of a bit of the, the mouldy stuff. It doesn't really get that mouldy, but I just spray that on and it clears it up, no trouble. So that's um, to go upstairs. Uh, right, I don't know if this was a three for offer or two for offer. Some ground ginger, again, for baking. Oh, I'm actually buying stuff to bake with. First time in my life. And also some almond extract. Ah, that's to make, I want to make a Bakewell tart. And I needed almond extract for the Bakewell tart. I also needed flaked almonds. So I've got, um, I've got two packs of flaked almonds because it was a two for offer. Just got some fine sea salt. I mainly wanted that because I'm going to start making bread again in my bread maker and you need to put a little bit of salt in the bread maker. So there's that. Oh, I'm not sure why that went in the bag. It must have been a mistake. I must have accidentally put that in the bag. Mm. So there's, there's those, right? Put those to one side. So exciting, isn't it? Well, this might be interesting in years to come. You never know. Oh, some ground almonds. I need those for the Bakewell. And they're still selling Halloween candy, Halloween chocolates. I, I bought these last time. They were half price. These are just M&S milk chocolate monstrous critters. They're basically just balls of chocolate. I was hungry when I placed the order. Right. <laughs> Here's some fridge stuff that's thrown in. They're being very lack, 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 lackadaisy in packing. Anyway, I bought, being a veggie now, not a veg, vegan, I can have these. I bought 10 Muller Corners. They're not all the same. It was an offer, obviously. I wouldn't normally buy 10. So I've probably got uh, strawberry shortcake, banana chocolate flakes, Um, rice pudding, rice pudding with strawberry, rice pudding with custard, two of them. So there's ten in, in all. Oh, and an apple rice pudding, Muller, Muller. And then M&S do a, f um, a four for offer on their little desserts. So I bought uh, mandarin dessert, I bought a strawberry trifle, a chocolate trifle, and also another mandarin. Now, the reason I didn't get some other ones is I'm trying to eliminate, and you try doing it, folks. 
I'm trying to eliminate seed oils from my diet. I won't go into detail about seed oils, but they're not good for you. Unfortunately, the profiteroles have seed oils in. In fact, go and look in your cupboards and see what's got seed oils in. It's got, there's more stuff with seed oil in than sugar. And you know they put sugar in everything. I can't even, I couldn't believe it. I had a tin of Heinz big vegetable soup yesterday, rapeseed oil in it. And the two rolls I had with it, they had probably rapeseed oil. So that's why I want to bake my own bread and make my own rolls because I can eliminate seed oil. That's why I'm going to start making my own stuff. It's bit by bit, slowly but surely, I'm going to just try and get away from all this convenience food and make my own stuff. And I'm sure it's going to taste a lot, lot better and I can control what goes in it. So that all that's for the fridge. So I haven't really bought much proper food because I've got so much food in the freezer and cupboards um, to eat up. And of course, once you try to eliminate seed oil from your diet, you'll find that you can't really buy convenience foods because it's in nearly everything. <sighs> right, corn flour, that's for another recipe. I'm not sure which, but I know it needed corn flour and some Wilkin and Sons raspberry seedless jam. That's for my Bakewell tart. The first thing I'm going to make is a coffee and walnut cake, and I'm gonna do that on this channel. And I'm gonna make it, I'm not gonna rehearse it. I'm gonna, it's the first cake I've made in years and years. I'm just gonna film it as it happens and we'll see how it turns out. Another ground almonds, that was because it was two for offer again. And these must have fell into the bag. I think these were on a two for offer with the Maltesers. Oh, nutmeg. I'd love to be able to make my own egg custard tarts and you need nutmeg for that. I think that was a three for offer with the two gingers. That was it, yeah. Because it's nearly Christmas and I'm a pig. And, oh yes, this, I think this this and the ginger is for making gingerbread or ginger biscuits or something. There's something ginger needed, golden syrup. That's an old style packet. They haven't changed that for many years. Is this by appointment to, oh, it is by appointment to the queen. Look, they're gonna have to change that to the king soon, aren't they? If the king decides he wants to still eat golden syrup, I can imagine the king eating golden syrup on white bread, can't you? As a little snack before bed with, with a glass of warm milk. So there's that. And finally, I think this is all non-food and it's all baking related, I think. These were on offer. These are lock and lock, which are very good. I bought two the last last order. These are ideal for your flour. They will fit more or less standard 1.5 kilogram bag of flour or sugar, icing sugar, whatever. Once you've opened a bag of flour, it's best to seal it up. So these are really for my flours and other ingredients. And they said these were on offer, five pounds something each, I think. But um, yes, I have got some bread flour in these already, so they're, they're good. So I bought four of them. So I should now have enough food storage for my flour and things. I haven't used the hot water bottle in I don't know how many years because there's no need to. I remember having one as a child and always being petrified that somehow it would spring a leak in the night and I'd be scalded. This is a Cozy Edit Super Soft fur, Faux Fur Hot Water Bottle from M and SO. I read the reviews and apparently the hot water bottle is made in Germany, which um, sealed the deal. Because hot water bottles, I expect back in the day when I had a hot water bottle, would have been British made. I don't fancy, I don't know, there's something about hot water bottles. I don't fancy a Chinese made one. Anyway, I got this because I've had, you know, I've had back trouble and I've had one of those heated pads on the, the small of my back which has helped. Um, but I thought I'd go for a hot water bottle in a nice cozy cover. Um, and yes, these in fact are made in Germany. So I think if German people can make decent appliances, 
I think they'll be very good at making hot water bottles that won't spring a leak. So that, I think it was £15. A nice little gift. And nowadays, when we can't afford to put the heating on, we might all be buying hot water bottles. But just that heated up on the small of my back while I'm, while I'm sat in the chair would have been very nice. Now I've got neck ache. My back aches are not so bad, but now my neck hurts. So I've been wearing uh, one of those heated bags that you put in the microwave. I've been having one of those around my neck this morning. I'm turning into an old, old man. So there's that. What else have we got? I don't need them because I've got them, but these are on offer and I like the red. And they are KitchenAid. And I didn't buy a KitchenAid mixer. I looked at KitchenAid mixers, but I decided, despite the fact they're still made, they're made in um, China. I've, I've got a soft spot for Kenwood chefs. So these, these were a few pounds, but these again were on offer, but feeling them now, <clears throat> they're a lot better than the one pound ones I bought from Asda. Um, these are measuring cups, KitchenAid branded measuring cups. Um, you get quarter cup, third cup, half cup, and one cup. And the dishwasher safe. And as you can see, they nest. So that's all for my baking. I've spent a fortune on baking stuff. I just hope, you know, the equipment, the ingredients, I hope it works out for me. I really do. And then also KitchenAid measuring spoons and again these are much better quality than the one pound ones i've got they've got a little bit of a sort of a grip on the back so these measuring spoons are a set of five you get a quarter teaspoon half a teaspoon one teaspoon half a tablespoon and one tablespoon soft handles for secure grip so that's my acado order for today i'll just better get this stuff in the fridge and then i'll have a bit more of a chat well, cheers everybody. I'm about to have my turmeric shot. I've no idea if that's 60 mil. It could be more, could be less. Uh, not as bad as I thought. Quite an earthy taste. They do a ginger shot as well, which is very good. And especially, you know, time of year where there's coughs and sneezes and what have you. Ginger is very good. Another natural product that I would recommend you seek out rather than taking over the counter doobry. Oh, I wonder what that sounded like on my microphone being so close to my throat. So I'll finish the video here after a quick chat. So this is my final video of uh, November 2022. Tomorrow, still can't believe tomorrow is the 1st of December. So I will be starting and I've not done anything yet. I'm so behind with everything. Up the tree isn't up. I wanted the tree up earlier in the week or last late last week I was hoping to put the tree up and then on Sunday I did my back in. Um, yeah, it was, I was hoping to get it up Monday would I be on Wednesday now so I'm I think it'll be tomorrow hopefully I'll start to get the tree up and I'll make a video of that and you'll see the first advent um, I'm probably will do them all together I was I was mooting the idea of doing them separate but I'll tell you well I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing what ones you'll you'll have to tune in tomorrow and you'll see the advents I'm opening but um, there's, as I said, there's going to be one that's designed for basically a children's one. There's going to be one aimed, we can't, we can't be, I don't know, gender racist these days, is that the term? But I would say it's more aimed at the male specimen, the second advent calendar. There's a third advent calendar, which is more or less unisex. So whatever sex you are or decide to be, you might find something in that advent calendar. So that's three main ones. And I've also got 12 pairs of Christmas, well, it's not, they're not Christmas socks, but it's a, you know, instead of a full 24 day advent calendar, you can get these 12 days of Christmas ones, can't you? 
So I've got a sock one from Fat Face. And what I'm planning to do with the sock one, because there's only 12 and not 24, I'll open the Fat Face ones on alternate days. So I'm not going to, excuse me, that turmeric, I'm not going to open um, some socks on day one. My first sock advent will be the 2nd of December and then the second one will be on the 4th and then the 6th and then the 8th. You get the idea. So it'll spread it out. So there will be a final sock opening on the 24th on Christmas Eve, as well, of course, as all the other advent. So there's basically going to be three main advents. I've got dog ones, but I don't know if I'll be filming the dog ones all the time. I mean, once you've seen one dog biscuit, you've seen them all. Um, so occasionally there might be a dog one opened during the main thing. Happy socks. I think that's a no, no go. I think by now, I mean, I had no, I, I, I didn't have any expectations that I would get another happy sock advent calendar said to, sent to me. I mean, the first one I did a few years ago, I bought and then, you know, the happy sock company kindly sent me. I don't know if it's two or three they've sent me, but, um, you know, unless it arrives today, I've not had any notification, but as I said, I wasn't really expecting one this year and it doesn't look like I'm getting one. But anyway, for you sock fans, they will, as I said, I've got some socks, a sock advent to show you, so they'll, they'll be that. So I'm not too disappointed that I didn't get, I've got so many socks, I don't know what to do with them. So um, if they do send me one, I will gladly take it. But um, I think we can say, by the time I'm making the video, there'll be no happy sock advent calendar, but that could change. But you can always go and watch back if you really want to see me prancing about in socks. You can watch back on my older Happy Sock Advent videos. And so basically, yes, this month it's going to be Advent. You're going to see an awful lot of me this month. You'll be sick of the sight and sound of me. So every day there'll be Advent. But maybe once or twice a week there'll be an, uh, another Christmas video or another sort of video. I'm hoping to do the baking video. Um, I've got some Christmas crafting ideas to show you. So there will be some other Christmas videos, longer videos and chatty videos as well as the advent for um, the period up to Christmas day. So hopefully you'll join me then. It will be nice to have your company. And for any of you who want to know, no, I'm not doing them on my other channel. I was hoping to, I plan to, um, it's not going to work out. You've seen the state of my house. I've got more important things I need to do. Um, I just don't have the energy or the time to do 48, yeah, 48 videos this month. I just, I've done it in the past. Mark's pretty relieved I'm not, um, cause it just takes over. And I am making progress. I mean, it looks, I know it doesn't look like it. Thing, you know, I'm making progress with clearing up the house and selling stuff. A load of boxes are going today. Um, I've still got a few bits on sale as well. And if I can squeeze in a, another few bits before the end of the year to sell on eBay, I'll do that. I've had to send some of the bigger boxes with UPS and cost me double the price I've charged my customers because Royal Mail are on strike today and tomorrow and that includes Parcel Force and then they're on strike again later so I've just paid the extra just to get rid of them I don't mind I just want rid of them so I've paid the extra so UPS hopefully are collecting three of the bigger boxes and then every formerly Hermes will be collecting the smaller boxes later to, later today um, and so making making progress in the ensuite, getting stuff emptied. Did I tell you that's been sorted? I'm not sure if I told you in the last video. I th I'm not sure if I did. We finally got a date for them to start the ensuite in early January. We've paid the deposit now. So fingers crossed, by the end of January, I should be able to show you a nice new ensuite and then I can really get cracking on with decorating because I want to get that done first and then start decorating my bedroom. Um, we are going on another caravan holiday between Christmas and New Year as well, back to um, 
is it Caton Village in between Filey and Scarborough. You've not even seen the first videos I did. I did, did a bit of videoing on my phone. I need to sort that out. Um, but yeah, it's 10 past 10 now. So I enjoyed that shot of turmeric. Set me up for the day. I think I'll have some breakfast or I might just get cracking on with the next video for my other channel and um, maybe just mould breakfast into lunch, brunch, that's what I meant to say, brunch. Oh, my neck's hurting now. It's not one thing. As soon as one thing gets better, another thing, oh, it's the trouble getting older. So I'm going to heat up my bag in the microwave again, pop that round my neck, and um, I just get, I'm just so tired at the moment as well. Mark's got cold and he's bringing up that much phlegm, we've had to install a spittoon. Um, I got over it within a day. I got the temperature and um, what have you, and I, I'm over that bit. And then doing, then doing me back in. So ooh, I'm hoping I can use this footage. I'm trying not to sh speak so loud because my microphone is here. You see. You um, say so yeah. I've got the, you know I've got like one of these. I don't think I can show you it because it's all tucked into me underpants. I've got one of these road things that was, yeah, uh, Glenn, a chap called Glenn, uh, bought a load of stuff for me for my Amazon wish list. I, I used to do them around Christmas for my other channel. Um, and he was very, very generous. And I'm a bit naughty not really using these because the trouble with me is I use something once and it doesn't work out how I wanted it to. And I, I sort of put it away and don't try it. But I thought, Try them because you see a lot of people wearing microphones and especially if you're walking, doing a video where you're walking about, it's, it's much better. I don't know what it's going to be like. I've reduced the level of the mic, so it, but it might be too loud. I'm, I'm sort of trying to whisper to you, but there's going to be parts of the video I expect where I'm going to have to in, in edit, sort of lower down the volume a bit. But anyway, that's where we're at at the moment. I'm about, you know, I'm going to have some something to eat. I'm going to make an unboxing video, this Kenwood, for my other channel. But you'll see that in action when I make my very first cake in I don't know how many years. Start. I've got everything. I've got all the ingredients, all the equipment, the right size tins for the recipe. Because I didn't have the right size tins. And I thought I want to do it exactly how the recipe says. I'm not going to take any risks by using a bigger tin because it might turn out different. So I've got the right size tins, all the lovely fresh ingredients. Well, the butter's fresh and the eggs are fresh. So I'm going to see how it works out. And Mark says, practice it first. I said, no, I want to show it real. I want to see how it turns out um, because it's so many, so many years since I've done any baking. Um, we'll see, it might be an absolute disaster. But you never know. I've got to persevere with it. The amount I've bought equipment for my new hobby. It's not just for, for a hobby. I mean, it's partly for a hobby. It's partly to create some content on the channel. But it's also the fact I do know I eat too much crap and convenience food. And I think by baking your own treats, making my own bread via a bread maker and cooking more of my own meals. I can wean myself off these convenience foods which are not good for you at all. And I'm pretty sure that making your own stuff, if you've got the time to do it, is a lot better for you and it tastes a lot better. And the fact I'm, because I, I'll, my Mark will be showing my baking, I'm sure, but I don't think he'll be wanting to eat main meals. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm planning on doing some batch baking and batch cooking because you can't, recipes don't really cater for one. I mean, there is a Delia book, One is Fun, that my mum's got. But most, you know, they're for four or six people. So if I, I was to make, say, a shepherd's pie or whatever, I'm going to have to, I'm going to make individual ones. Follow the recipe, but then decant them into individual freezer-proof dishes and then put them in freezer bags right on the bag what's in them what date they were frozen so it'll be almost the same as having a convenience meal in the freezer but it's something i've made myself and i've controlled what goes in it so um that's the plan that's one of my things i want to get into but obviously my priority is getting the house straight 
is sorting out the house. It's it's not going to be a quick job. It's not going to take months. It's probably going to be into the years to eventually get through everything. But I'm really getting on with it. New sofas arrive in January. New ensuite in January. It's going to be decorating done. I just need to just get rid of the bulky stuff that's in the way and then systematically go through everything bin charity sell and it's going to take a while but i'm hoping early next year the house will certainly if i do a tour of the house it will look pretty tidy there's going to be mess behind the scenes there's going to be stuff stored away but as long as i can get the house in a livable condition then I've got the space to start opening up cupboards, pulling out drawers and going into the minutiae, trying to sound clever by using a clever word that means minute. And I can't remember, minutiae, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean. Getting into the nitty gritty, the detail. Surface, it'll look tidy and that's fine, but I want to delve beyond the surface and get it sorted properly. And then, when I'm not spending half the time looking for things, tidying up, getting upset and aggravated that I can't find stuff, when that time has gone, then I think there's going to be more content put out on this channel and my other channel. Um, and I'll have more time to do other things as well. Get out more, get out walking more, do more things. It's just such... Um, just having too much stuff is is such a first world problem, I know, and it's all my fault. And I do realise I'm an over consumer. <laughs> but I do know there's a problem. That's the thing. It's when you don't know there's a problem until someone comes in and says, you've got a problem. I know there's a problem. I don't need someone to tell me that. And I do want to sort it, that's the thing. I don't want to live in a messy house. I want to live in a nice, tidy house where everything is a place for everything and everything in its place. That's, that's my mantra. I must, I must look for one of those signs to put up on the wall. I'm sure you can get them. A place for everything and everything in its place, just as a reminder to put things away and sort stuff out. So that will do for today. I'll see you tomorrow for the first of the Advent series. I'm half asleep. I don't know what it is. I just, I just could do... It's probably the weather. I just want to hibernate. Anyway, I can't. I've got too much to do. So first thing I'm going to do is heat up that bag and put it around my neck because my neck hurts. Get something to eat. Get some more videos made. And above all, get some more tidying up done. So I'll see you tomorrow. December the 1st for the first of my Advent series. Thanks for watching. If you've watched till the end, we'll call our safe word Kenwood. If you'd like to put Kenwood at the end and any other comments, that would be great. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.